What is going on, gang? As you can see, we are back down at the lake. Today, I got something a little special for you. I'm going to show you guys three different ways to catch live bait. As I speak to you right now, there's a huge hurricane barreling towards the United States. Category 4 strength ahead of its Florida landfall. The hurricane hunters found sustained winds have increased to 130 miles per hour. I'm in Kentucky, but they said we're going to fill it all the way up as far as like North Carolina. So I'm curious to see how that's going to play out. It's kind of weird because it's actually changing the weather here. It was like 90 yesterday and today it's like 77. So it's really weird that something so far away is actually affecting us up here in Kentucky. But anyways, we got some minnow traps. We've got a cast net, the old school way of catching live bait with just a hook, bobber, and a worm. It should be a pretty fun video. I'm really excited to do this one for you guys. The sun's trying to peek through a little bit, but honestly, it is really, really cloudy. It's supposed to rain from the hurricane, so we'll just see how it goes, but we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, here's the gear we're using. We got a cast net right here. This one's just from Walmart. It's like a five foot cast net. Then we got these two minnow traps. This one is a KG minnow trap. If you guys know Kendall Gray on YouTube. I uh, got one of them from him. They're supposed to be really good, so we're gonna try that out. And then we just got an old Walmart minnow trap. Uh, I think this one has bigger holes at the bottom, if you guys can see. So we might get some bigger fish in this, but we'll see which one's best out of these two. But I just got some paracord on this one. And the bait we're using, came with the KG minnow trap. So this is like some dog food, some flavored dog food. It's got something on it because it's got a really strong smell to it. So we'll see how good this works. I'm gonna go ahead and get these baited up and find two good spots to put them. All right, we're gonna get the Walmart one set up first. Let's go ahead and get this baited up. And then take this little hook thing, boom. That one's ready to go. This is the one I'm most excited to use, the KG Minnow Trap, Kendall Gray. This bad boy, in his videos, he'd be catching a lot of little bitty bait fish and creek chubs. So I'm curious to see what we get with it. Let's add the bait in. There we go. Same thing with this one. It's got the little latches right here. Boom. Then you take your little clip, just like that. Because we're in Kentucky, you can't leave your traps unattended, so you gotta have some kind of tag on them. Or if you leave them overnight, or if you walk away from your trap for a long period of time, you gotta make sure that you have some kind of tag on it. So it's kind of cool that this came with that. All right, and this one's ready to go. So we're gonna go take these two traps and we're gonna set them up somewhere while we use a rod and reel to fish for bait fish. That's our third way of getting them. All right, so this right here looks like a good spot. You kind of want to throw next to like cover and stuff like that. So I'm gonna throw this one right next to all this. Probably about right here, it looks pretty deep. It looks about two feet. That's about where you want to throw it. So we're gonna throw this first one in here. Wrap it around this little tree. Shouldn't go anywhere, but I'm still gonna wrap it just in case I walk away from it. That way nobody hopefully messes with it. But that one's set and good to go. We got our second trap right here. We're gonna walk down the bank and throw this one in here. This little cutout looks like a really good spot. Oh yeah, that looks really good. It's gonna be a little shallow, but I think it'll do good. So we'll throw it right around there. There we go, that's better. All right, I got that one right there. It's a little shallow, but it should work pretty good. Live bait, we're using some live millworms. Just some little millworms. We're using these. Here's the setup we're using. This little ultralight setup with, I think I got about six pound line on here. Long shank bluegill hook, styrofoam float, and a small weight. So that's the setup we're gonna use to get our live bait. So you see we just got this little bitty millworm on the tip of my hook, right there. And this is first cast. I'm just gonna kinda throw straight out. It looks like that rain is trying to come in, so we'll see what happens. You can tell the rain's coming in, like it looks like it's about to come in. Bites already. Look, well, Kai's gonna bite too. The it's the rain, it's the rain coming in. It's got them going. Did they get me? Oh, they chewed all my worm off. Let's rebate that bad boy. All right. Second cast, they ate my first worm on the first one. So here's my second cast. All right. Cast number three, I'm getting bites guys. They're just taking my worm. So I re-rigged the worm a little bit different. I might have to raise my bobber up a little bit. 
make it a little fish a little bit more shallow. There we go. Yeah, look at that, guys. That's what I'm talking about, bait fish. That's what we're after. Yeah, it's a little hybrid. That's what we're after, guys. That's the perfect size bait fish. Look at that. We're going to go ahead and put him in the bucket and keep on going. And yeah, that's a little, never mind, that's not a hybrid. It's a little bluegill. Perfect. That's what we're after. These little bitty sunfish. They make good, good bait. So let's go ahead and put him in the bucket. And the wind is coming in. It looks like it's about to start storming. I'm getting a bite on every cast now. Even though we're in Kentucky and that hurricane's like just now coming up on Florida, they said that we're going to fill it all the way up as high as Kentucky and North Carolina. So it's kind of crazy that a hurricane is that powerful that it's coming across land that far. So that's why a lot of people are uh, pretty worried about this one. So if you live in Florida, you guys be safe because it's definitely going to be a rough one. Oh, got a fish. There we go. <laughs> Trying to check the weather, guys. Got one. There we go. See, that's what we're after. Another, is that a, nope, that is a hybrid. That's a green sunfish. That is not a bluegill. See the pattern next to his face? That's definitely a green sunfish, but we will take it. He's going in the bucket. All right, guys, here's the real test. We got the cast net. So I was gonna wait for this, because we're fishing right here, but I kinda gotta speed it up because there's a storm coming in. So we only got a few hours of fishing left before it starts pouring down rain from this hurricane that we got coming in. Again, I'm in Kentucky, but we're filling it all the way up here. And so are some of the other Northern states because that's how big it is. So let's get this going. Is that a hook? Whoa, where did that come from? I must've caught that last time I was out. A big old rusted EWG hook. We're gonna throw this just enough times to get some bait. I don't want to disturb the water too much over here. So we're going to put this on our wrist. There we go. Just like that. I think maybe like three throws and we should have enough. And then we can check our minnow traps. So grab it right here. Grab it right there in the middle. Make sure there's no tangles. Perfecto. All right. Put this right there. Put this right there. All right, let's see if I can get a pancake on the first cast. See if I can get a perfect throw. Not a bad one, not a bad one. Not a perfect little pancake. But let's see if we got any. Oh yeah, we got some boys. First throw. <laughs> let's go. Oh, he's per oh, there's a couple in there. Awesome, bro. Look at that. First throw. All right, so we only need one more throw. Let's get these guys over here. Two little bluegill, guys. Perfect bait size. So let's go ahead and throw them in the live well bucket. Nice size bluegill. Some states are not, you're not allowed to use the cast net, so make sure you check the rules and regulations for your state, as well as minnow traps, too. I don't want you guys getting in no trouble. But for cast nets here in Kentucky, you can cast net, but if you catch any game fish, like channel catfish, bass, um, any game fish like that in your cast net, you cannot keep them. You have to release them immediately or you will get in a lot of trouble. That was a good one. I'm gonna throw one more out under this tree. Then we'll go check all the traps. All right, nothing. That's okay. So four casts, two bait fish. But you see what I'm saying? Usually I would be moving around around the lake to different areas like over there. You wanna go in little coves or little nooks and crannies like this to get them. But that was pretty good. So there's that. Now we can go check our traps. I think they've been soaking long enough. But that's all the rain that we got coming in from the hurricane. And so far, it looks like we're good until eh, we got a couple hours of fishing so we gotta get on it <laughs> we're gonna go check our traps in a second all right guys so we might have to let these soak a little bit longer but i'm gonna go ahead and check this first one and see if we got anything in it so far they've only been soaking for about an hour normally you want these to soak for at least four hours or even overnight the longer you have them in the more stuff can get in there and get trapped and can't get back out so let's see let's see if we got any yet 
Ah, nada, nothing yet. Let's throw it back in. I think I'm gonna throw it over here though. So we'll just leave that soaking until we leave. All right, let's go check the other one. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like the clouds are moving like super duper fast. And then if you look at the water, the wind is coming in and blowing the water this way. So yeah, definitely a big old storm brewing. Like I said, guys, this hurricane is being felt all the way up here in Kentucky. So yeah, we'll see if we can't get something with these. I'm gonna let this soak a little bit longer and I'm gonna keep on fishing until then. While we're waiting on these minnow traps, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna throw on a live minnow and see what happens. Or a live bait fish, I should say, because they're not minnows, they're big bluegill. So we're gonna throw one of these on and see what happens. All right guys, so we're gonna take this little bait fish I got right here. We're gonna throw him on a bobber rig and throw him out and see if we can't get something with him. I'm just gonna hook him right back here by the tail so he'll swim real good. There we go. So let's see what happens with that guy. That should get something, right? So we threw out that little bluegill that we hooked up on that bobber rig. We're gonna see if something might want that. With this storm coming in, we should get some good bites. We're just gonna live bait fish until we get our minnow traps filled up, or at least get something in our minnow traps because this storm is coming, guys. All right, guys, the wind's starting to kick up. It's about to start storming. So we're gonna check and pull our traps. Hopefully we got something in them. Let's see what we got on the first one. So nothing on that one. That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy. This storm's just coming, guys. We gotta get up out of here. This storm is like barreling down on us. All right, guys, we're checking our other trap and we're getting out of here. We just got a storm warning and I'm not trying to be caught in the middle of it. Hopefully we got something in it. If not, no big deal. Oh, we got some guys, look at that. Absolutely killed it. Let's go see what we got. I was getting worried we weren't gonna catch anything guys, but look at all those. That's awesome. It worked, it worked way better. <laughs> I wonder why. I don't know, it's smaller holes. Is it a bunch of baby bluegill? Yeah. Look at that, guys. Got a bunch of little bitty, little bitty bluegill, baby bluegill. Those are great bait. We're gonna go ahead and get these out of here and put them in the bucket. All right, guys, so the KG minnow trap worked way better than the Walmart one. Look at that. We got a bunch of these little guys. We're gonna go ahead and get these out. I was worried we weren't gonna catch any, but look at that. We got a crap ton in here. <laughs> They're tiny guys, but these are really good bait. Crappie. Man, crappie will tear those up. Look how many, bro. Bluegill spawn all year, so that makes a lot of sense. But look how many there is, bro. The KG minnow trap, guys. Kendall Gray. Hashtag Jesus, hashtag <laughs> Gray guy. Look at this little guy. Oh, man, I got some little ones. We'll let the rest go. Guys, we are getting out of here before the storm comes, but that was awesome. We got everything we set out to get. We got bluegills in the minnow trap. For some reason, we didn't get any minnows in the, the black Walmart trap. I don't know if it's the color or what. We caught fish on hook, line, and bobber. We caught fish on cast netting. We got that out the way. So every way we wanted to get bait fish to show you guys that you can catch bait fish really easy, we did. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.